fiddling legend. On the Nashville Beat tonight, Lauren Terry meets the man and his fiddle, now a part of the Country Music Hall of Fame. And this fiddle, it, it sounds pretty good. For the last time, Mark O'Connor lovingly took his bow to this fiddle. This fiddle that took him through child prodigy to the most in-demand session player on Music Row. I competed a lot on the contest circuit with this when I was um, ages 13 through 19 years old. And uh, so it's a, a really big part of my past. That past includes winning the Grand National Fiddling Championship at age 13. Though he reigns as perhaps the most respected fiddler of his generation, Mark O'Connor still can't understand all the fuss about him today as the Country Music Hall of Fame adds his fiddle to their collection. Thank you so much, uh, Bill, and uh, I'm fairly nervous. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't look nervous as he posed for this cover of Fretz magazine, but O'Connor says looks can be deceiving. Well, I guess... It was so cold that day that maybe <laughs> by, by the time that picture was captured, maybe <laughs> I was wanting to be someplace else. I don't know. O'Connor's fiddle will go into the archives, complete with autographs from his fiddling mentors, among them Vassar Clements, Papa John Creech, Roy Clark, and Roy Acuff. I mean, it's very awkwardly painted white. You know, it was a mistake by an old farmer. If only the old farmer knew into whose hands he was placing that fiddle. That fiddle and the fiddler who would take Music Row by storm, all the while keeping a reverence for its roots. With uh, instruments like the fiddle, you know, that will keep anything from getting too slick. <laughs> Just the sound of it, <laughs> you know. Uh... The sound of it, indeed. Lauren Terry, Channel 2 News. Fellows, autographs will be tough to park with. <laughs> yes. Stay with us. We'll be right back with more in a moment.